Hi everybody, this is going to be an amazing video for anybody out there who's got an Asus ROG Ally, whether it's the extreme version or the non-extreme version I've got here, because we've just had the addition of the AFMF to the graphics capabilities of this device, which is AMD's Fluid Motion Frames, which in essence adds more frames to our games so they look more fluid and smoother so first off i'm going to show you how to how to get this and then we're going to do a little bit of a demo so what you're going to want to do is you you want to go into your, the armory crate software and you want to go to the settings and then the content and you'll want to go to the update center and you want to check for updates and then update and that will download the latest version of the software that you need and then what we need to do is let me just go into our in desktop mode and then what we need to find once that's updated and you'll have to make sure you're near a powerpoint because it'll ask you to plug it into a powerpoint while the software updates itself and then you'll have to restart your your device as well for in order to take effect then we need to get into the amd adrenaline edition software so you'll normally find it hanging around here or if you do a search here for amd software so if we press the back button and then up on the d-pad say amd we can fire that up there we go get rid of that and it will normally ask you a few questions to start off with to, to kind of get started and get set up and just click on default that's probably a good one to start off with then if you just go to gaming and then go to graphics and you scroll down a little bit what you'll see is amd fluid motion frames so what's going to be happening as your game is is rendering frames at say I don't know 40 frames a second or something like that what AMD fluid motion frames will do at the graphics driver level it will be generating more frames so the idea is that you then get a smoother experience because you're seeing stuff in order for this to work though your games must be in full screen mode and also, you need to make sure that your refresh rate is set up to 120 hertz. Now, my ROG Ally here is the non-extreme version. So in order to get a good performance out of it, I run it at 720p. Um, and then in previous videos, you'll see that I often run it at 60 hertz. But for this, uh, to make this work, you need to run it at 120 hertz. And then you need to make sure your games are running in full screen mode. And then you'll also want to turn V-Sync off as well. To get the effect now i've only had a um a few goes with this and so far i think it is actually making quite a difference so if we go into resident evil village so game came out a couple of years ago now didn't it but this is definitely a triple a game definitely pushes um the rog ally quite hard in order to you know get a nice experience it used to run okay um but what hopefully you might get a little bit of an idea for is the um is that this is actually a little bit smoother now i know it's difficult to judge this because i'm recording this video on a phone you're probably watching it on a phone you know does it really make much difference but first off let's quickly go into the options go into display and what you should see down here so as you can see we're in full screen mode i'm only at 720p uh, the refresh rate uh, is variable um actually i wonder if i put that up to 120 yeah v-sync is off very important there and i've got fsr off obviously i could use that but i'll tell you about my theories for that in a minute okay so we are good to go let's just turn this back to gamepad there we go and now we can go to load game Um, so one of the reasons why I don't tend to use FSR and a f many of the um, upscaling software and the upscale in the, available in the drivers as well and available in the games is I think especially with the ROG Ally non-extreme version I think all of these things take up processor power and you have this kind of balancing act between processing power um, that's being sucked into trying to make the uh, game run better and actually letting the game run better by itself. Now, a little word of warning as well is the the um, 
real-time monitor doesn't work and it gives you a little warning it says look you've got afmf on ignore the the fps you can actually if you use the um uh, amd's overlay rather than the rog alloys overlay you can actually see it apparently but you know i'm really just going off the way it feels and for me running around this village here or running around the village in resident evil village it does look quite a bit smoother than when i've played this without this now there's probably going to be loads of different videos out there where people actually do some proper testing and use some uh, fancy software to, to figure it out but for me the beauty of this is we're getting smoothness and we're not losing sharpness because that's the problem i have with like i'm um, using uh, fsr and um, and those sort of things basically what the way that they work is that they reduce the render rate of the game and then kind of sharpen it in a in a special way but you tend to lose detail where this i mean that is incredibly smooth and we're the thing is, I like doing these tests in the outside of the village because this is quite a complicated environment. So there we go. Um, AMF, AFMF, AMD's Fluid Motion Frames. Check it out on your Rug Ally. Hopefully this video on how to update and how to get it working has been useful. What do you think? What are your experiences? Especially I'd like to hear from people who've got the um rog ally z1 extreme version as well because obviously this is just the non-extreme version you know how 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 does it affect your games do you really notice it um and uh, do you think it's worth it so there we go that's enough from me hopefully you found this video useful if you have it like comment, see more, press subscribe and of course i'll see you again soon